Okay, let's take a look at the assignment that will be due on creating annotations. The very first part of the exercise, you see the exercises here that are on Canvas. Annotation exercises required to complete the module. And you'll see that everything is in here in this drive folder and plates, but I've already downloaded some things. I've got them ready. So it says the first thing before we do all the rest of the work is we want to create our own title block. And so um, when you look at that title block, here it is right here. It's something that you're going to download and you're going to work with it. So you download the title block. Here it is right here. There's the template download that, and then open it with AutoCAD. So here we go, I'm gonna open AutoCAD. So I've got AutoCAD working, but I'm gonna open a file, and I need to find that file. I downloaded it into a place called Today's Work. So let me go find Today's Work. It's on my D drive. So there it is, Today's Work. And there's the template right there. That's the template that I want. So I'm going to open that. And you'll see that I've done some of the work already. I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to erase that. And when you open this file, it's going to look like this. And you want it there. And it's going to be in model space. I know normally we put our, our annotations and everything in paper space, but I'm gonna show you this as a special circumstance where we're gonna put it in model space. And then I'm gonna add some information. Over here you see that I'm gonna add some information. And I think that's shown right here. I'm gonna add these layers to the title block. So I'm gonna demonstrate just a few of these to show you how to add those, but I'm just gonna read this and I'm gonna add them to the title block. So I go to my layer properties and I see I've got one called border that's not on there. I've got one called text. This says the text should be magenta and you can make it magenta or red, magenta or red and 0.014 continuous. Text, continuous, 0.014. I'm not quite so concerned with the colors. It needs to be something you can see easily. So let's take another one. Geometry. That's where you're going to draw things on. So let me make that one. Geometry. That's what I'm going to draw. It says it should be white. And, you know, when it shows up on here, if you have a white background, it's going to look black. If you have a black background, it's going to look white. So they call it white, and it should be continuous, and it should be 0.028. Remember, you have to have set your line weights to inches to be able to do this. So my geometry is done. Let me make one hidden, and then I'm going to go on. You're going to get all of these in. Hidden. And it says it should be red, so I'm going to click the red color. And it should be hidden too. It's telling me on this chart here what to do. And these are going to be some standards for us to work with. So I need to find hidden too. I'm going down and top. There it is, hidden too. And then I select it and say, okay. So you're going to make your list look like the list that I provided to you. Although you can change the colors if you want. You don't need to use those colors. You can make them what you wish. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. You're gonna do that first, and that's gonna reside in this, this thing called title block A size template, and you're gonna have your own. Once you're done with that, you're going to actually add text onto this drawing. And this is, this is how you do it. This is a bunch of information about it. So I'm going to look at some of these and tell you about them. So if I'm going to add text,
text. It's going to be on the text layer. Now I'm going to zoom in so that my little part looks kind of like this. Now it says American River College and it says a 0 0.20 text height and justification is fit. Justification means how do you line up the text and fit means you're going to fit it in between two points. Okay, now I want you to be careful and do the best you can. This is the A is capitalized, the R is capitalized, and the C is capitalized, and the rest are small. So let me see if I can do that. To do that, I type D T. Do you see that down on the command line? D T. That's dynamic text. That's the one that gives you the most control. I know you've got buttons up at the top that you can do this with, but I'm a typer because I like the control. D T. Enter. And then it tells you justify. So I'm going to write fit. Enter. And it says, where do you want to start the fit? And I'm going to find, I better set my O snaps for endpoint. Okay. Oh, uh, midpoint, actually, or intersection. I better set it for intersection. Right there. Intersection. And the other point I want to fit it to is the other intersection. And I want the height. It's asking me down here at the bottom. How high do I want it to be? I want it to be 0.2 because that's what my directions say. And then I can start typing. American River College. And it fit that in between those. And when I'm done typing, I hit enter, enter. Okay. Now my next one is this big one that says drawing title. It's also point two. And the justification where it's going to line up is mid middle center. That means it's going to put the middle center of this word right where I click, which is going to be right there. So I'm going to type DT again. DT, enter, justify. I can type J or I can click justify. And oh, all these come up. MC is middle center. Middle center, right there. And my text height is already at point two, but I'm going to type it anyway, just to be careful. Point two. And the angle of rotation is zero. It's going to be sideways. So now, and now it's all capitals. So I need to do that. Drawing title. Enter, enter. There's another one up here. Let's see. I'm just kind of going down over here, finding the big ones. Your name. Now look, it says it's going to be 0.125 with middle center. And that's going to be right there. DT, enter, MC for middle center. I'm going to put it right there. And my height now wants to be 0.125. See, it's asking me for the height. Enter, rotation angle, zero. I'm going to show you about that in a minute. And that's going to say your name. Now, this is going to be your title block. So if you want to put your name in there directly, you can do that. Randy Schuster. You can put your name in or you can leave it so that you can change it later on. Enter, enter. And up here, it's going to say, well, there's a couple more. I'll do this one up here. This little one up here says it's a 0 .080 text height. And then it doesn't say it how it's justified. So that's the standard default, which is left, left. So DT, enter. I'm going to click it right on that point. Oh, I forgot to say left. DT enter justify and it's just plain old left. 
and it's going to go right there and it's also it's 0.08.08 0 .08 text height. See, I'm seeing that right here. I'm just reading this information. 0 0.08. Click. Enter. Enter. And that one says title. Now, there's lots of things, ways I can do this. Now, if I don't want to do all that, I can even use the copy command. I'm going to let you guys decide what the best way to do this is. But that one's also 0.08. That one's 0.08. That one's 0.08. This one's 0.08. This one's 0.08. This one's 0.08. And how do I change that now? If I double click on it, click, click, let's see. Click, click. I can just type in what I want it to be. That one says, Size, enter. Oh, that is so cool. Click, click. File. Name. And I'm just reading over here what it says. What's this one say? Drawn by. Click, click. Drawn by. <laughs> this edit command is really cool. I can also type ed for edit ed for text edit see what it says there so you're getting lots of things that you can do here scale you can either write your sackle no it's, it should be scale please try to type better than i do date this is all information that goes on a title block sheet Shat. Let's do sheet. See how this is all coming together? Isn't this cool? So I've got a lot of, there's still some empty X's for me to line up. This should be scale. And, and it always starts with one equals something. So I'm going to start it out with one equals something. And that one is, it says over here, Middle center. I think this one is middle center. No, that one's left. Also, that one still says left also. So I think that one's supposed to be middle center. So I'm going to go DT on this one just because. Escape a couple of times. DT. Middle center. And it should be a 0 0.08. 1 equals. And then I'll fix that 1 equals later on to be something else that I want. So I can copy again. Oh, these are supposed to be 0 0.125. How can I change that if you make a mistake? Right-click properties. And look, the text height shows up over here, 0 0.12. You're getting a really good, um, you're getting a really good, because of my mistakes, you're getting a really good lesson in all the things you can do. Huh, isn't that cool? And I can even change the justification. I can make it top left. I can make it top center, top right. Oh, all these things I can do, middle center. So the important thing is you get it in there and then you can change things as you go. So I'm gonna do some more copies. I'm just, you can do this by typing, you can do it by copying, you can do all sorts of things to make this fit up. So this one date should say month, month, dash, day, day, dash, year, year. So I'm going to double click and then go mm, dash, dd, dash, yy. And this one should say one of one. I'm going to talk about these more in lecture of what these all mean. Do I have every, no, I don't have this one. Copy.
Hit escape if you got the wrong command in there. I do that all the time. Get the wrong command. And this is where you put the size of the drawing in there. This is an A size drawing. There, I've got a little bit of a title block, kind of. I've got most of it. Now I'm gonna show you another cool thing about layers. Okay, I, I, I wanna either erase these or hide these. These are on the zero layer, but they're, they've done their job now. I don't need them anymore. So how can I get rid of those? This is on the border layer. This is on the text layer. I could go in and I can erase every one of these. And it would take me a long time. Or I could be very clever and I can come up to my properties. And I could turn off the border and turn off my text. And all I've got left are those little things. And it's very quick and easy for me to delete those. And I just turn them off. Which means turn the light off. And now I've got it back. And now I have a very nice title block that I'll talk about later on. So when you're done, you should have a drawing called TBA template. Title block, A size template. You could put your name on it if you want. You could rename it as your own. And when you're done, you should have a list of layers that match the list of layers that you see here. The only difference is you get to choose these colors. I'm not, I'm not too terribly cool about those colors. You don't need to worry about the text sizes. Okay. And you're not going to get them off of this D, D, T, blah, blah, blah. You're, um, because that's not available to you right now. So I gave it to you. So there, that's how you make your very own title block. And then you save that. I'm going to go ahead and save it as TBA template Schuster. And I have my cap blocks all messed up. Schuster. Okay. So that is how you do it.